Hey there, welcome to another interesting lesson on this Tosca automation playlist. Today, uh, I'm going to show you how you can verify XML files using the Tosca automation modules. Now, for this particular example, I'm going to use this books.xml. Uh, it has got uh, some information related to different books. It's a catalog of books with different um, properties like ID, author, title, general price, and some other information. Now we are going to use the Tosca modules to basically um, scan this XML file and also do some verification. Like if we want to verify um, whether some title of a particular book ID is as per our expected result or not. Okay, so that's what we are going to do. And for this, I'm going to use two modules. Both are part of the XML engine. So let's create a test case here called Verify XML. And then I'm going to search for these modules. So let's search with XML. And I'm going to use the open create XML file. And I'm going to use verify XML okay so these are the two modules uh, which we can use uh, the first module is to open or it can also create a new XML file so for this we need to give a resource now resource could be anything uh, for me I will just give it a name called books XML and then uh, the file path okay so let's copy the file path here and let's come here and then paste it here so this is the file path now while verifying the xml file uh, we need to provide the same resource which we used while opening it so we'll mention books xml here now we need to give the x path okay so in an xml file if you want to access any particular node you need to provide the path of that node in the xml tree okay so for example, uh, if we are looking at this XML file, okay, so if we want to traverse uh, to a certain book, okay, book ID, we need to give the path of this particular node, okay? So whatever node we are trying to access, we need to provide the path of it. So the easiest way to do this um, is either use um, some tool to generate the XPath or you can write your own XPath. If you know how to write it okay so that's what I'm going to do okay so to do that uh, I will first uh, go to this XML file and then I will click on right click and click on inspect okay so that will give me uh, kind of an XML tree okay with all the different nodes you can see here so here um, I can then press Control F and then you will see there is a find by uh, text box okay where I can write and I can also verify my XPath. Okay, so for example, I want to verify the title of this particular book, which is Microsoft.net. So, uh, in order to access this, I need to write a relative XPath. So, I'll start off by writing book. Okay, so that will probably give me all the list of notes which start with the book tag. Okay, and then I'm going to say at ID equals. I'm going to give it a value here. So it's BK110. Okay, so this will filter it down to that specific book with this particular ID. Okay, and then I'm going to access the uh, title here. So I'm going to write title and that will uh, filter it out again to highlight the title here. Okay, so this is probably the X path for if you want to access this particular node. Okay. So as I want to verify the title, I will take this node. Um, I will go back to Tosca and now I will paste it here. Now you need to take care of uh, this particular expressions because there are some special characters in this particular X path. Okay. And you need to tell Tosca to escape uh, the special characters. Otherwise it will throw some errors. So you can go and right click on this and you can say escape value okay uh, that will escape 
uh, the special characters here but again we need to escape this particular string value for id okay so better we provide some quotes double quotes here okay so you need to uh, put two double quotes one is for the x path and one uh, it is telling tosca to basically consider this as a string okay so this is how uh, your x path should look like and now we want to verify something in the value okay so um, if you look at this value, uh, it's Microsoft.net and then the programming Bible. Um, I don't want to write the whole text, so I can use some regular expression here. So I can write Microsoft and then I can put a star so that whatever text after that, it can just verify that, okay? So any text which is uh, starting with Microsoft and then um, it can be anything after this, okay? So this way I want to verify the value of that particular title. So I can do any number of verifications by giving the X path and then the value, okay? So let's go ahead and run this quickly. And you will see that uh, it will show you all the steps which it has performed and on the X path. It will say verification was successful. Um, so expression was this, actual value was this, right? So this is how uh, you can verify any particular XML file using these two uh, modules, which are part of the XML engine. And one is the open create XML file and the other is verify XML. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.